excited. <laughs> I am actually happy because... Today, I'll be discussing with you some pieces that just makes me giddy and happy. And while there are many places in my closet that brings me joy, some of them were thrifted, some of them were not. And quite possibly, I'll share more of these pieces that bring joy to my soul and I just get excited to wear them. For example, this piece, this pairing, by the way, have you ever paired green and navy blue? It's one of those unusual pairings of colors and absolutely, absolutely a gorgeous, elegant aesthetic. I love it. Try it. So anyway, today I am going to share with you some of the thrifted pieces that just brings me joy and give me the biggest smile on my face because I've been wearing them and enjoying them and I am so glad to have found them. And interestingly, there are pieces that are either being reissued by the brands, that's telling in and by itself that they're being reissued for a reason. So, let me just get into it. As you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So, I'll leave you some tips on how you and you and you and you could be imperfectly sustainable. Number five. Ah! 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 I thrifted this piece because just uh, the sheer elegance of it. And I am absolutely in love with it. I love it because one, it's practical. I don't do impractical bags unless, unless I'm going to a gala event or something or a wedding where you don't have to think much. But this, guys, it could hold whatever I need it to hold on an everyday basis. And I love it. I got this piece at such a great price. Guys, there are gems out there. And this is a bag that's being reissued. It's currently being sold in so many iterations that if you find one of these on the second hand market, you've got yourself a gem. I don't know about you, but this brings me joy. I love a shoulder bag. In fact, I, I, I love bags that I could carry on my shoulder. While the top handles are nice and cute, you and I know that they could be a bit a pain in the ass to carry sometimes like just holding it like that one of the other reasons i don't really 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 love the birkin or the kelly <laughs> but the kelly has a strap so that's different i like the option of having to be able to carry my bag like this and so guys Whenever I get in and I see this bag, because I know that I didn't pay an arm and a leg for it, and I got it in such a great condition, it's absolutely phenomenal. Like, this bag is just amazing, in such great condition. And it's practical. It's, it's, it's not just, like, 
a fly on the wall. Whenever I get in and I get into this room, I just smile because it brings me joy. <laughs> Love it. This is a bag I could wear to work could wear on evenings out, I could wear anywhere. I love versatility of my bags. So yeah, number five. Number four. <laughs> this one. So this bag brings me some joy in the sense that I love the craftsmanship and the quality of this bag yeah it's a piece by mulberry i found it on the second hand market it's a really gorgeous piece it's a keeper it is indeed a pain in the ass to get in and out of it just like the many grievances i've heard expressed about the kelly this is it one of the reasons why I would never ever invest in a Kelly because I, I just don't like that. I don't like it that way. So I found a way how I could wear it and I've shared it with you guys before. It's of course to wear it like this. And so it's growing on me. So that's why it's number four. I wear it like this. I don't want it to act like a Kelly or be like a Kelly. I just love the aesthetic of the bag, the quality and the craftsmanship. So be because of those reasons, it does bring me joy. Yeah, whenever I see it, I don't even gravitate towards the look as much as the quality this is a bag it's gonna last me forever it's very sturdy very scratch resistant and I love a big bang for my money and I got this at such a great deal so it brings me joy number Three. This bag. <gasps> Guys. This is another piece that is being reissued. And it's such an amazing bag. I have been wearing this and I am so pleased that I found it. It's an amazing piece. It's in navy blue absolutely love it by the way you see how green and navy blue could work see see it's stunning yeah and i absolutely love that because it's such a gorgeous piece absolutely beautiful beautiful and it's not troublesome at all. You just, as usual, up, down, and it's good. And it has lots of pockets, very sturdy. It's like, it's like a box leather. It's prone to scratches, but every scratch is like a wrinkle. I embrace it. So I absolutely love that about it. And as, as I said, it's very easy to close. You just, and that's it. No fuss. Those are the types of bags I like. That's one of the reasons they bring me joy. I love this. Absolutely great craftsmanship and it's one of those bags that you would definitely pass down intergenerationally and be proud to do so just because of the quality. Say what you like, but Gucci in its day, it did its thing. Yeah, this brings me joy. This brings me joy. 
Guys, I love this bag because it's not the typical Fendi bag and it's in the snake skin exotic leather and this is vintage. So no snake was killed in the making of this recently and I apologize to all the snakes that were killed in the making of this bag. That's why I don't buy new. <laughs> but this brings me joy. It's a very neutral piece. It's a piece that you could extend the handle, the strap, like so, and wear it like this. And, of course, as you have seen, I like it both ways. As long as it can go over my shoulder, you would bring a smile on my face. So, I love this bag because these are really great quality pieces. Anything that could stand the test of time for over 20 years brings me joy. Guys, as I've always said in the past, they don't make them like they used to anymore. And so, hence my reason for always gravitating towards vintage bags. I do not love newly produced bags. I, I don't like, I like unique bags. As my channel says, unique aesthetic. Yeah. As you know, on here, we deal with unique aesthetic. And you have something elegant, stylish, and unique. This brings me joy. Rolling up over black Cadillac. This was such an unexpected find, and guys, yeah, it doesn't get any better than this. This 